Let's bring our good friend from Baltimore on the line. And we've got Olympic gold medalist, the host of Stay in Your Lane, Bernard Hollywood Williams. How you doing, man? Fantabulousism, my brothers. How you doing? Doing well, doing well. Been talking a lot of Super Bowl today, getting ready for the big game. Of course, folks will be able to listen to that right here on this station on 100.3. We'll have our coverage start at 1 o'clock on Sunday. Uh, the kickoff will be at 5.30. I was asking Colin this <laughs> earlier today. Do you have a favorite Super Bowl food? No, no. I, I, whatever, whatever. I don't have to pay for that they have like pizza or hot wings is good with me. Have food, we'll show up. I got you. I got you. So we were talking about, you know, you got buffalo wings. Some folks in parts mm-hmm. of the country prefer garlic parmesan wings. There's the loaded potato skins. Strangely, we've seen cocktail weenies has made a a, a rise, and cocktail weenies are now have now overtaken wings as the number one Super Bowl food. I think wings is what? still the tops. I still wings think wings is still top. Colin, go ahead. I have another food question. This is completely aside, but Bernard, I want your reaction. Old Bay hot sauce. Would you buy it? Oh, absolutely. High blood pressure on site. Bring it on. See, I'm with that. I'm with that because the Old Bay seasoning is fantastic. If you're going to do a crab boil, crawfish boil, shrimp boil, pretty much any kind of seafood, you got to have the Old Bay. That's that's mandatory, right? right? If you're gonna do any kind right. of, of of seafood, you gotta have the old bay. I, and if they want to venture out into a new product and try an old bay hot sauce, I will. Based on their track record, I will give them a shot. Bernard, would you agree? I would agree. However, um, as long as it's not the spicy twicey. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, because yeah, when it goes I know what you mean. Spicy it, it, and then it, it comes out spicy. When it's hot going in, hot going out. Yeah, the twicey spicy. As long as it's not twicey spicy and not catch no toilet paper on fire, we good. Bernard, I want to ask you this. As a um, as an Olympic champion, um, and going into the Super Bowl, there were some comments that were made by the San Francisco 49ers. I believe their defensive coordinator said this, that going up against the Kansas City Chiefs, their wide receivers are like going against the Olympic relay team. And Tyreek Hill who is one of the the fastest receivers in football, still playing with the Chiefs as a result of the accusations not leading to an arrest or not being able to find evidence about the the incident with his three-year-old son. He's still in the league. He's playing in the Super Bowl and says he wants to run in the Olympics and he wants to do your event. He wants to come run the 200 meters in the Olympics. Should Team USA consider this guy, given given his past? Absolutely. Shoot, he should go and, and try out for the team and get one of those three spots, earn one of those spots, and he should be able to go. That's how it works at the Olympics. You have to earn your way in. You just can't be selected. I agree with that. I mean, you, you certainly have to have the speed and you have to have the talent, but with you know the, the, the incident with the three-year-old, you know, he breaks the, the, the arm of his three-year-old son. When, you, when we're – listen, if, if the NFL is one thing, that's internal. That's like keeping your, your dirty laundry – in house. That's like keeping the NFL is here in the United States and it's one look to be a part of an NFL team. But when we send a, an athlete out to represent our country for Team USA, we're sending him out to represent us to the rest of the world. And I want the athletes of like yourself of the highest moral caliber to represent our country in addition to being the best. I want there to be more Kobe Bryant's and less Ryan Lochte's. Right. I mean, I agree with you. But on the other hand, you know, if like the way society works, is as long as you win them a title or you have a chance to win it all, um, companies, they forget everything and they get paid the big bucks. Like people take steroids and they just let them go and, and win goals all the time. So it's the American way, man. Winning can forgive a lot. The, I have a question yep. because obviously Olympic athletes are the best athletes in their position, but do, do the U.S. Olympic team look at someone's moral character and decide, even with their great talent, that they're not a good fit to represent our country? I don't think so. As long as that person is winning and as long as they're winning that gold medal will have a chance to win, man, they'd bypass all of that. So there's no, you know, no one sat you down for, you know, after your Olympic trial event, nobody sat you down for a character interview. No, I didn't know that. Um, no, because I've seen guys from from people who, who, who got caught with statutory rape cases to 
people who uh, took steroids over and over, they just let them go. As long as they want to go metal, they, they bypass all of that. Well, listen, if you had gone through a character interview, I know for a fact you would have passed through with flying colors, man. Thanks again for calling in, good friend. Colin, before we get no out of here, who's our piece of the day? Our beast of the day is Alex Ovechkin with last night's first period goal. He moved past Steve Userman in the sole position of ninth place in the NHL all-time goal list. His next goal will move him into a tie with Mark Messier for eighth on the all-time goal list. Appreciate everyone for being with us. Appreciate all who called into the show today. Colin has uh, got his own show coming up next. Beauty and the Beast with Callie Cash and Colin the Beast Best Store is coming up. And don't forget... Going to have the Super Bowl right here on the ticket on Sunday. Coverage starting at 1, kickoff at 5.30. Hope you'll tune in.